हेलो हाय दर्शन नमस्ते दिस इज मेरे गर्ल अफ सुरा सर बैक विद एन अदर यूट्यूब भिडियो रज सब मेरे यूट्यूब चैनल में स्वाइक से स्वागत है कैना चैनल सब्सक्राइब कर सी धन्यवाद और कैंजना छेन प्लिज चैनल से सब्सक्राइब कर दिन हो रहा तक टक्क थी धे दुख को काम भी छेन सो चैनल से सब्सक्राइब कर दिन हो सो इन दिस भिडियो टुडे वील बी नोइंग समथिंग अबाउट अ डायरी वी फ्लाई That has been recently noticed in our eastern part of the Nepal, and so it might be an important health issue in upcoming days. So, without further ado, we should know what is up, what is it, what is that bug, what is nightly fly. So, now stay tuned till the last of the video to know all about the nightly fly. A simple introduction to a nightly fly. It is a native of East Africa. It contains a gorgeous substance known as the pedirine, which is an acid that can cause chemical burn to the skin if it comes in contact with the skin. So it is also known as the acid fly or the dragon bug, and also known as the Kenyan fly. One of the important issue that we should know how does a nightly fly looks like because without knowing it, we will not be aware that it's coming near to us. So given in the picture, it looks. It has this kind of appearance. It is actually red and black, or the orange in color. So it's about six to ten millimeter in length and width of about seven point five to one millimeter. So please be aware if you see this kind of box roaming around your surrounding places because it might give you lots of problem in the upcoming days. So please be aware. Once again, just look at the picture. It looks like this, okay? Knowing something more about the nightly fly, they lives in a moist habitat. They love to live in a moist places. So in Nepal, it's monsoon season and it's raining in all part of the Nepal. So they might find Nepal as a good place for the recent time to live in. And they are also attracted towards the fluorescent light. So the bugs inadvertently comes in contact with the human body. So. One of the interesting part we should know that bugs neither bite nor sting uh, to our skin, so we should not be not be that much afraid. But we should be aware that we should not just uh, cross it or slap it against our skin because it will release a toxic substance that I have all told you earlier, known as pedirine, which is an acid uh, that is um, the main culprit uh, for all the skin manifestation that may happen in the near future. So we should just. Uh, blow away or we should just uh, jerk off our hand or any kind any part of the body that the bog is sitting on so uh, we should be knowing that very much thoroughly we should not just uh, be again listen to that we should not just cross we or we should not just slap it against the skin so we should just uh, blow it away or we should just jerk okay this is condition that is associated with the nightly fly is known as the pedius dermatitis pedius dermatitis is a clinical condition that is uh, characterized by the formation of a linear erythematous rash after 24 to 48 hours of contact with the bog and it is actually followed by the vesicles and the pustule formation after 2 to 4 days so the pedis dermatitis is primarily associated with the pain and the rash formation and the it might get uh, uh, infected with the bacteria which is known as the secondary bacterial infection which might require a I am um, higher range of treatment like the oral antibiotics and it may also lead to the formation of the skin ulceration the skin hyperpigmentation and the skin scarring so these are the complication of these are the manifestation that are associated with the pedis dermatitis so moving towards the treatment or how can uh, we treat the um, treat pedis dermatitis so as soon as the box sits on your skin and after blowing or jerking it off uh, our skin we should just wash our hand or any part of the body that box sit on with the clean soap and the water and we should make it dry and we can just uh, cold compress it and we can apply topical steroids Which is the main treatment, and we can also apply soothing creams, which are like a calamine or the camphor. So we can also go for the oral antibiotics if there is a secondary bacterial infection. So these are the treatment we can do for the pedis dermatitis. And moving towards the prevention, that how can we prevent the pedis dermatitis or the nightly fly bite or the nightly fly attack? So we can just uh, sleep under the mosquito net, and we can wear full sleeves, um, full sleeves. Uh, 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 close while um, roaming around the field areas or roaming around this your surrounding home places so and this third one is we should never cross or slap uh, the block against the skin which is just blow away or just uh, jerk our hand or the any part of the body that the box is actually sitting on and we should just clean our uh, in water and the soap simple uh, measures that you can actually follow so for to get attack from the nightly fly 
so please share this video to as much as possible because it will just spread the um spread awareness about night we fly that you should be aware about because it might be an actual health hazard that in the upcoming future days so please um don't fall forget to like share comment and subscribe to my youtube channel and in my next video till then uh bye bye guys and just uh, uh learn something more about the night we fly bye bye guys